Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. So we have did this registration of the user with the using a confirm with email with the password we have did it. Create user with email and password we have did it. Now it's time for us to work on the login part also. Let's try to do this one. For logging thing, if you go to the get started and here if you come down for sign up new users we have did this one and for sign in of this existing user so this is the sign in right so we are working on the login then for logging existing users we need to use the method sign in with email and password which is available in the firebase slash auth let's copy this thing sign in with email and password i am copying here and i am writing here constant login user Okay, here this is our method and in this method I will paste this one and here also we will send the credentials and here also we can use the same thing credentials.email and password and here we will use this credentials email and password and when you got this one okay fine and let's console this error not message if you want to show it as a <coughs> notification bar also you can show it this one all. now here I am using this login user I am exporting this one for this one what we need to do we need to go to the auth view and in this auth view we are having register user right so here you need to use the auth store auth store dot login user so i have did this login user and i need to send the credentials let's see that whether we are able to achieve it or not now if you go into the white app and here if i try to test it so we are having one already registered with the tested the test dot com and here i can use oh sorry one two three four five six and if i click on the login sign in with email and password is not defined okay we need to import it from the i already told but i didn't import it okay fine yeah so we need to import it in the firebase slash auth now let's go here and refresh this page and now if i try to do the same thing test at the rate test dot com one two three four five six and if i click on the login now here we should be able to get okay we haven't do did the console so let's do the console thing console dot log user so i am consoling the user let's see that whether it is successfully able to log in or not test at the rate test dot com and i will do some wrong password let's see login firebase wrong password so yes it's working fine one two three four five six and if i click here we should be able to get a message we are not getting anything why let's cons let's log in again i think you need to refresh the page again yeah i am refreshing this page and i am writing test at the rate test dot com one two three four five six and click on the login yeah we are able to get the user fine right so now you are able to successfully log in now let's complete this logout part also for logging out what we need to do is if you go here on auth stage change, I will explain you about this on auth stage change. Password authentication. If you try to go to the password authentication and sign in user is finished. Recommended enable is okay. To sign out a user, call sign out. So here we need to call the sign out method. So let's copy this one and here let's go here and we will create another method constant logout user is equal to this is also one method and here we will call this sign out okay so just i am calling out the sign out now logout user okay when you click on the logout user where we need to use it it is present in the nav bar now if i try to uh, in the nav bar uh, what we need to do for the logout button right logout button yeah here i need to do that at the rate click dot prevent on logout here i can use the method constant on logout is equal to here i can do auth store let's import this auth store auth store is equal to use auth store and here i can write auth store dot uh, what is it we need to call logout user right logout user so this is the thing we need to call it let's see that whether we are adding this one in the return or not in the auth store so we are having used this one here so we need to import it yeah now here let's try to click console logged out 
okay now if you try to see here if i click on this logout let's refresh this page i will click on this logout sign out is not defined okay we need to import that sign out let's import that sign out also yeah, i am importing this sign out yeah it should be imported same from the firebase slash auth now if i go here let's refresh this page and if i click on the sign out so we are able to get the log load so now how can we able to understand so now i am trying to register it so we are i am able to tell that it is it is login so if i am trying to logging in so it has been logged in so if i try to click on logout it has been logged out how can i able to understand this one so i need to show the logout when the user is logged in right so for this one so that means i need to maintain a store variable i need to save all the user credentials in a store variable and whenever the user clicks on the logout i need to empty that user credentials that user store variable i need to empty it how can i able to under, how can i able to make it how can i able to store the user store variable and also how can i remove the user store variable when it is there when it is when the user clicks on the logout how can i do it so for this one in our thing we have a method in our get started only we are able to see so we have a method that is nothing but uh, on state set on authentication state so here observer and get user data so whenever a user has is logged in or user is logged out or whenever the user refreshes the page so this method will be include method will be executed on auth state change whenever the authentication state change so this method will give you the user if the user is already logged in means it will give you all the user credentials if the user is logged out means it will uh, delete the user let's try to copy this one and we will use it here and here i am using constant i will use the initialization constant init is equal to this is the method i am using and here i will paste it so on auth state changed okay now here i will click on i will do the console.log of user okay here and if i try to do it uh, console.log auth state changed so this is our method we'll be having and let's see that whether it will execute all the time or not in it and and we need to call this init where we need to call it we need to call this init at the starting so that means in the app dot view okay so in the app dot view we need to call it here now there is no need for us to call this get notes things why because get notes things right now we are storing it in the database and we need to get the data. We, we are getting the data from the database so this one we can remove it and we can write it on the notes view okay so in the notes view i can get this one note store so use note store we are using and here on mounted i can use this on mounted and here uh, in the on mounted we can call the call this one now here we need to uh, get this auth store so we need to get this auth store and we need to use the use auth store here use auth store and we can remove this node store so when this on mounted so i can call this auth store dot init okay so like this i am initializing this one so whenever the auth is changed so you will be calling this one let's see whether we are able to get it or not now if i try to show you the nodes also will be loaded if you try to see here nodes also is getting loaded okay so now if i go to the auth so nodes also should be loaded yeah fine so here auth if i try to go to the auth now here we are we see this time the user is null so why because so we are getting this so if i try to refresh this page already i clicked on the logout right so that is the reason auth state changed as fired and the user is null so now i will try to fire it test at the rate test.com and 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 and i will click on the login if i click on the login see auth state changed so this has been fired now we are able to get the user details if i refresh this page again now the user is logged in right so if i click in if i refresh this page here see this time also we are able to see auth state has been changed and it is providing the user so all the time we are able to get whenever we are refreshing the page or when the user clicks on the login or the logout thing auth state change is firing now if i click on the logout again see auth state changed and the user has become null so we can make use of this auth state auth state changed method in order to store the no user variable so here in the auth store let's go here and i will maintain a variable here constant user is equal to ref import the ref and i am maintaining a empty object so if the user is there 
okay if the user is there then what i can do here so i can save it user dot value is equal to email is e user dot email i will save the email and also the id is also very much important right uh, uid i will use the uid directly okay we have this one or otherwise what i can do is user dot value is equal to empty object that's it so i will use it so here we can user and user it is getting difference right so user details we will use this user details instead of that one so here user de user details oh sorry everything is getting copied sorry wrong copy mine user details user details user details user details like this now i we can remove this console.log also not needed now we'll check it in the pinya whether these are getting saved or not so when not this change changed i am saving this all the data in here in the user let's see whether we can able to achieve it or not i am here in the view in the pinya in the auth store if i refresh this page so we will be able to see the user in the pinya auth store okay fine we are not able to see means in the return it is not there user okay and if i see, if i refresh this page we are able to see in the in the pinya we are able to see user object is first time empty i will click on the logout is empty now i will try to do test the red test.com and 1 2 3 4 5 6 and if i click on the login so i am able to get the email and user id here okay i am able to get it auth state change has been fine if i refresh this page then also i am able to retain the user details if i refresh this page also i am able to retain the user details now if i click on the logout again okay if i click on the logout see user object has become empty so using this user store variable we can show this logout button and we can redirect dot thing everything we can do it so this is how we are maintaining the login and registration thing hope you understood about this logout user and all the things so this is some what pretty thing a vast thing uh, you will be understand very easily if you practice it i am committing this word in uh, this all the code in video iphone 105 video if and one not five who are maybe having a doubts and all those things they can refer to this auth code so here login auth store code now i will commit this all the code yeah fine now if you try to uh, who are maybe having doubts and all those things the github.com so this is the code base everything i am maintaining the code base here and you can go here to the code if you have any doubts or anything in this auth store and uh, the video link uh, the, the github link is provided in the description below of this video if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you